Hi everyone, before we begin, I would like to emphasize that this video is separate from my work and is part of my desire and effort to bring zero cost information to developers. So today we are going to build a Clang from source. So we are going to build uh, the version 15.0.0. And if you're interested in building portable executable, you can refer to the video I'm linking here. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my um, Ubuntu machine, but ideally you should build such a uh, tool to increase portability on the whole system. So first thing first, we'll download the source I will use for that curl that points to the GitHub uh, release um, tarball. So as I say, 15.0.0, this is the version we'll use, and we'll pipe it to tar uh, to uncompress it directly. So this might take a time depending on your uh, connection speed. All right, so we have it here. As you see, it's filled with directories and files as expected. So now we can enter in this directory. And what we can do now is to generate uh, the configuration. For that, we'll use uh, CMake, uh, with which we tell it to generate uh, Unix make files. We can also generate a uh, different type of, uh, of build files on Ninja or other, other build systems. Um, then we need to tell uh, CMake where the source we want to build. So we'll, use, we'll build LLVM, so which is basically this directory here. We'll also tell where uh, it should generate all those files. So we'll generate it into a, f a directory called build. Then we'll also um, inform CMake where to install the final um, uh, binary generated. So we'll install it in the root directory called LLVM project 15.0.0. So this will be located at the root, at my root here. We will also tell that we want to build uh, in release mode. So there are different options here. You can, you, you can use debug mode or real size mode to if you are constrained on size or different options. You can look on their website. There are really different uh, types of options here. We need also to tell what project uh, from LLVM we want to build. So we are interested in building Clang, uh, Clang Tools Extra, and LLD. Clang Tool Extra is basically this file, this directory, which includes things like Clang Tidy and LLD, which is the linker for Clang. We, need, we can also uh, enable different runtimes. So the runtimes are basically a shell library uh, that are used at runtime. Um, so basically libcxx, libcxx ABI, and libenwine are part of the of the, the standard C++ library for, for Clang. Uh, this is basically your, your STL. And the compiler RT are things uh, used by uh, ASAN or the, the different sanitizers. Uh, we'll tell that we only want to enable <coughs> an x86 target and building for an x86 machine here. And uh, as I said, to increase portability, you can also static link with your own um, uh, stud library. And that's it. Then we can type enter. So now what it does, generate basically a bunch of files uh, in your build directory, a bunch of make files. And uh, after that, we'll be able to run make and to start uh, to compile the source. So here it's checking all your configuration to make sure you have the right tool installed and the right library available in your system. All right, so it's generating the configuration, it's done. <clears throat> so let's see. In our build directory here, we have a bunch of things. So the make file is here. So now we can enter in this directory and we can uh, start to build. So the make minus J uh, and a number here correspond to parallelism we want to give to make. So I'm using the number of core I have on my machine. So now let's come back in a while because this will take quite some time, it can take up to a few hours depending on your system. 
So now we saw that the compilation succeeded. Uh, now we can uh, install the package by running make install. Again, we need to wait a bit. Okay, so now the package installed, we can look at it now. As you see in the bin directory, we have all the executables, uh, clang, clang tidy. So last thing we can do is actually simply to, so we, to package the, the installer. So we can go back to the root of the directory and run um, tar to package our directory into a tar.exe. So now we have a tarball. Uh, it's ready to use and self-contain. Contain all the binaries and the executables uh, we compiled, and including the share libraries. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.